happy Tuesday. Uh, we're here, which we're happy we're early. Um, Colleen just got here, but look at she already got right to work. She has a time limit. She's got to get gone, so she got right to work. Let it stand for a few minutes. Mom is over there cooking dinner for Dawn. And, and microwave. Microwaving their lunch, which is delightful. Um, I got Panda Express. It's delicious. My little chicken teriyaki. And Kim, what did you? What are you eating over there? Wings from Wingers. Wings. They're delicious. So we're starting off uh, right off with the bang. Got to keep up with this woman over here. Look at her. She's already doing math and calculations and my word. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to work on today. Kim, what are you working on I today? I have no idea. Okay. I cleaned out my drawers last week. Oh, yes. We learned you're a hoarder. <laughs> um, so we're going to get busy. Uh, and find you something to, ask to do. Me what I'm gonna do oh, sorry, Mom. What are you doing today? I'm going to sew the cat block. The cat block? And then I can sit with you guys and embroider. What are you embroidering? The animals for my animal blocks. Oh, wow. We will definitely check in on that. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I'm going to work on the names on the rest of those blocks that we didn't name. Oh, oh mine yeah. need names. Do you want to do mine? Mm -hmm. Good. Fabulous. Okay, so we'll check in in a little bit. Um, if you notice my face, do you see my face? I had a little burning accident. They burned off some age spots. No, <laughs> no, I'm not that old yet. Uh, no, I was cooking potatoes for my nope. son and spattered Water. butter on me. So uh, everyone beware if you're going to cook with butter. You want some of that fluffy jello? Don't get she it so hot. She was a pirate for a while. I was. I had a pie, eye patch. It was terrible. But we're healing. See, we're healing. Anyway, we'll check in in a minute. You have something fun out. Do you want to tell us what you're doing? <laughs> well, I've never used it before. But I need to get this little pattern okay. on the face of this little kitty and I thought maybe I could use my brand new light box. Oh, look at that. Get in. Well, yeah. In there. That Usually I hold it up to the window, but sometimes that's a little awkward. Well, this looks like it's good. And then you'll just use a, a friction pen or something to... Yeah, then I'll just copy it with my friction pen. Huh. Maybe right. I'll get me a middle so I know I've got oh, him in That's the a good idea. Okay. Well, we'll check on that in a little bit. Colleen's been working on her border right there. Mm -hmm. She's doing a fancy border. I'll show you over here. On her scrap blanket. She got it all sashed last week, and now she's doing this fun, fancy border. Look oh, how fun that is. It looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look cool. Yeah. We're being productive. Oh, Lisa, she loves it. Lisa. Then, uh, Very happy with it. I'll take you in here, and I'm working on a couple supplemental blocks for my uh, quilt exchange blanket. And Colleen's quilt exchange blanket. She liked the blocks I had made earlier. And Kim's busy. We're just been so busy. She's busy doing the embroidery on our names. And it still. doesn't stop. So we did get clink. Clink. Okay. Well, at least she learned. Clink. And she, Kim's nice enough that she's doing Colleen and mine and trying to get all those quilt exchange blocks done. So there's a little update. And now, Judy's. Jim. Okay. Okay. I am making this blanket, this baby quilt, for a new little grandson we're getting. And the mom wanted some of the blocks from the, the um, Farm Girl Vintage quilt book. So I'm making all these animal blocks. And these blocks, she gives the cutting instructions for two different sizes. You can make them in 6 inch or you can make them in 12 inch. It was so hard for me 
to keep my brain straight because the first time I made this quilt, I made them with six inch blocks, but this one I'm making with 12 inch blocks. So I just took sticky notes and covered up all the cutting instructions Ooh. for the six inch block. Well, that's a good idea because I've had this same problem with yeah. different size cutting. Yeah, when you get two in different the same cutting book. sizes. Okay. And I just used the same sticky note for everything. I just saved them. But I made the mistake a couple of times of cutting the wrong size, and I thought I've got to cover them up yeah. and, and to remember that I am doing the 12-inch blocks right. and to cut from the 12-inch blocks. Why don't you blocks. show us some of your animals? Because we're a little short today on our video, and your animals well, are darling. I did the little hen. Oh, look at the hen. She does have an eye. You can't see it very it's well. There. And the little piggy. And her beady blue eye. Oh, yeah. With her beady blue eye. And the cow. Oh, I love the cow. Oh, love the cow. And the barn cat. The dead cat. The, yeah, the eyes, but it's so cute. And the sheep doesn't have his eyes yet, and I have to do one more One leg. more leg. He's not a tripod sheep. <laughs> one spindly leg. <laughs> his little spindly legs. I don't know why that makes me laugh, his little spindly legs. I love it. And the chickie needs an eye and two legs. And two legs. Nice. She will have bird legs. And then the tractor <laughs> As needs opposed smoke. opposed to dog legs. And it needs Chicken a legs. steering wheel that's oh, embroidered. Yes. Cute. Look at that and cute then the track. barn and the silo. Oh, I love it so much, Mom. I think it'll be. I have to decide what kind of sashing to put on them. It'll be so cute. But Okay, well, thanks for that tip. Well, it's, it saved me a lot of recutting. Yeah, it's a good idea. That is a good idea. Other than one of the quilts I cut out all the pieces. I cut all these background pieces out of the chicken fabric. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay. Instead of out of the background fabric. Okay, anyway. Kim, tell us goodbye. Bye. Sorry. Sorry. A little boring today. Yeah, we're just short on numbers. Um, we got some stuff done, though. We're kind of in a lull. A lull. A lull, we're yes. kind of in between projects. It'll pick back up. I always have trouble getting started on the next project when I finish something. Like, you got to get excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. There's really nothing I'm excited about. So, uh, thanks for coming, um, and we'll try to do something fantastic next week. Anyway, bungee jumping, maybe? What's yeah. special next week?